ഡിയർ ഉപാസക ആൻഡ് ഉപാസിക ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർ ഐ റിയലൈസ് ദ നീഡ് ഓഫ് എ ബുദ്ധി സെൻറ്റർ ടു ഫുൾഫിൽ ദ സ്പിരിച്വൽ നീഡ്സ് ഓഫ് മൈ പീപ്പിൾ ദെൻ ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് പ്ലാനിങ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ വർക്ക് മൈ ലെവൽ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ടെൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദീസ് ടെൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് I studied and practiced the teachings of the Buddha and explore the Buddhist philosophies of different traditions. I spent three years in Gulbarga, fully immersed with the society where I could gain direct interaction with the society to understand and feel the problems of my people. At that point, Again I went to undertake further studies with a fervent hope that I may gain the right understanding of the dhamma to address to the problems of my people We did the foundation ceremony of Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo on 6 December 2014 which was the first step in fulfilling the dream of establishing the center for my people My dream is coming true on 19th November 2017. For me, opening ceremony is a sign of hand over. Hand over of the Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo to each and every one of you. It is up to you to push backward or push forward or keep it as it is, the Dhamma Chariot of Dhamma. Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo My people should know that the foundations of the Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo are my sacrifices hardships and insults from various corners of the society Earlier I thought of not sharing my difficulties and hardships I faced to establish the Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo but I want to reveal to you I want you people to understand because by thought it is during the grand opening ceremony that I am handing over the Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo to you all The Bauddha Dhamma Pitamo is started giving the spiritual fruits and benefits It is the responsibility of you all and your next generations to take the bauddha dhamma pitamo to further heights and to fulfill the spiritual aspirations of humanity gautama the buddha is our teacher his teachings are the life guiding principles for us creating a society with oneness equality happiness and spiritual advancement is the goal of the teachings of the buddha we should continue and preserve this noble goal in order to fulfill this goal there is a need of living spiritual teachers who are well trained and experienced in the dhamma and the discipline and who can be the living example and the ones who walk the path such spiritual teacher should serve the society for the happiness and welfare of humanity with great sincerity and commitment in order to render their spiritual service to the society you should respect and fulfill the needs of bhikkhus and the samaneras who are undergoing training in the dhamma and discipline you should bring comfort and ease in their livings by providing their requisites with great willingness and spiritual joy then they the bhikkhus and samaneras will sacrifice their wisdom energies talents time for the welfare of humanity and they serve the society to the best of their abilities The spiritual teacher is very essential in the spiritual path. 
surrendering to the wisdom of the teacher is very important the faith sincerity and the commitment you carry in your thoughts words and actions they affect the spiritual teachers and cause the teachers to generate vibrations of spiritual bliss and goodness such vibrations cause the teacher to speak out that is the dhamma desana the dhamma talk once your wisdom seeds within starts to sprout then you can get advanced and have direct experience of the truths in the spiritual path by reading listening to the dhamma and practicing meditation your efforts and practices go away when the wisdom seed within you doesn't sprout please remember this and render your service to the dhamma teacher and get spiritual benefits from them and advance in the path of the dhamma listening to the dhamma from a teacher is very essential and it is the one of the essential factor to make the seeds of wisdom within you to sprout every human being is in the need of the teachings of the buddha the dhamma brings benefits to every human irrespective of the caste region creed religion and time the dhamma makes human lives happy and peaceful it is the responsibility of all of you who are in the path of the dhamma to make the dhamma available for our fellow human beings yes the grand opening of the bauddha dhamma peetam is important for us but what is more important is to make the dhamma available and acceptable to the people and to make people feel sense of belonging of both the dhamma peetam and the dhamma i established both the dhamma peetam with the support of my foreign devotees and i am handing it over to you so now it is your turn to take care of the bauddha dhamma peetam and to make the bauddha dhamma peetam as a center for dissemination and propagation of the dhamma to every corner of india do your best and be ready to sacrifice and offer your continued support and service to the bauddha dhamma peetam we should strengthen the process of the propagation of the dhamma by organizing grand opening ceremony in a big way whether we have 5000 people 10000 people 20000 people joining the ceremony depends on your efforts and execution you should remember one thing you can make any number of people to join the opening ceremony but they should be provided with humble hospitality and the dhamma care the experience of their joining the great opening ceremony should follow them until they attain the final everlasting peace and happiness so please get ready to work for the grand opening ceremony with great commitment sincerity and conviction thank you